So one of your your sponsors was Toe to Toe. Yep, Chad, it's awesome dude. Was he really? He was, yeah, he was always good to us. And like when we uh, hung out, every once in a while, I get a text from him too. Like we had we had a good uh, good relationship, good business relationship. And like I think he's even at my wedding. See, he he's a guy that one I, I like his clothing brand, but he appeared to at some time spend money foolishly. And then at other times, you know, do it wisely. We just had Spencer Fisher on a couple of weeks ago and like he, he stiff Spencer, like it's still mm-hmm. something that, that kind of comes up and I, I'm not sure it was the best business decision because you're, you're talking about sponsoring a guy on the indie scene and for a decent chunk of change and you got to look for return. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, it, it was interesting to see how, how, Toe to toe unfolded as a business, but you guys had good good dealings with them. Yeah, it was, well, I mean, a lot of companies got put in the grave when UFC started taxing them to to <laughs> to sponsor their fighters. When they're like, "Hey, oh, you're you're sponsoring three guys in the show. You need to pay us fifty grand, you know, to do that." And then they started saying, "Oh, you need to pay us a hundred grand." So yeah. like, I had I had a couple sponsors that like just cashed out of the, the business. Can't do it. They can't do it. Like you didn't they didn't have a budget for that. They had a budget of like. Twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars a year yeah. to pay all their fighters. Like they weren't able to, to to put that kind of money up, and I think that was that was purposeful. They knew what they were doing. They wanted to squeeze out all the sponsors. One hundred percent. Because yeah. the more the more uh, dependent the fighter is on the promoter to get paid, the the more you can't say no. You can't well, say no. Yeah, they're when obedient. They offer, when they offer you a shitty bout agreement, like what are you going to do? Like you're starving. Your family's starving. But if you have a regular paycheck coming in, like I had a couple of times where I was making money, I was making good money every month because the sponsor was paying me monthlies. Okay, so John, you obviously care. Chris, most guys, when Dana White talks, they're kind of, you know, they listen, they're professional. And, and I'm not saying John was unprofessional at, at all, you know, with the statement. But you used to always kind of also laugh at him occasionally like you just i don't i don't have daddy issues i don't have daddy (laughs) issues most of these guys have daddy issues they want they want daddy dana to pat them on the head and tell them they did a good job you're not my daddy had an awesome dad